Welcome to our great channel. This video is prepared to help you on your licensure examination for agriculturist journey. This is a 100 plus question and answer for the subject agricultural extension and education. We will give you an ample time to answer or you may pause this video. Are you ready future agri? Good luck! Question number one. A professional communication intervention deployed by an institution to induce voluntary behavioral change with presumed public utility. A. Extension education. B. Agricultural extension. C. Extension. Or D. Extension science. The answer is extension education. Number two, a process of facilitating self-directed learning that seeks to produce competent people who are able to apply learning under changing conditions. A. Adult education B. Formal education C. Informal education or D. Lifelong education The answer is adult education. Number three, an organized systematic educational activity carried outside the framework of the formal system to provide selected types of learning to subgroups in the population. A. Informal education B. Formal education C. Non-formal education or D. Lifelong education The answer is non-formal education. Number four, an applied science with its own body of philosophy, principles, content, methods focus on the problem of out-of-school education for adults and youth. A. Agricultural education. B. Extension education. C. Formal education or D. Informal Education. The answer is Extension Education. Number 5. A system which assists farm people through educational procedures to improve farming methodology and income. Better the better the levels. A system which assists farm people through educational procedures to improve farming methodology and income, better la better the levels of living and lift the social and education standards of rural life. A. Agricultural education. B. Extension education. C. Formal Education or D. Informal Education The answer is Agricultural Education Number 6. The first to institutionalize extension in a university. A. Cambridge University B. London University C. Oxford University or D. University of Chicago The answer is Cambridge University.
Number 7. The Federal Act in the United States of America that established and the land grant universities which served as models to our country's agricultural colleges and universities. A. 1860 Morrill Act B. 1887 Hatch Act C. 1890 Morrill Act or D. 1914 Smith-Lever Act The answer is 1860 Morrill Act. Number 8. The act which established the first legislated extension education in the world. A. 1860 Morrill Act. B. 1887 Morrill Act. C. 1890 Morrill Act. Or D. 1914 Smith Labor Act. The answer is 1887 Hatch Act. Number 9. The Republic Act, which is also known as the Local Government Code of 1991. A. RA 7160. B. RA 8435. C. RA 3844. The answer is RA7160. Number 10. The policy arm of the government to affect rural development. A. Agricultural extension. B. Research. C. Communication or D. Technology. The answer is Agricultural Extension. Number 11. The Local Government Code of 1991 affected the blank of extension functions to the local government unit. A. Concentration B. Decentralization C. Devolution or D. None of the above The answer is Devolution Number 12 One of the aim of rural development is A. Promote utilization of technologies B. Ensure wider distribution of benefits C. All of the above or D. A. Only The answer is All of the above Number 13. The expected outputs of agricultural extension are A. Goals B. Selling fertilizers C. Change in knowledge, skills, attitudes, and practices or D. None of the above The answer is Change in knowledge, skills, attitudes, and practices. Number 14. The basic consideration in planning extension program include A. Goals B. Perceived problems of target groups C. A and B or D. A only The answer is A and B. Number 15. 
Number 15. Parodim in agriculture characterized by the use of inputs such as fertilizers and other chemicals, soil, tillage, irrigation, and physical infrastructure to arrest soil erosion is known as A. Farming system B. Conservation farming C. Conventional farming or D. All of the above The answer is conventional farming. Number 16. Alternative agriculture includes A. Sustainable agriculture B. Contour farming C. Sloping agricultural land technology or D. Modern farming The answer is sustainable agriculture. Question number 17. Common features of agricultural extension worldwide are A. Target system, change system, change agent system, B. Target system, policy system, input system. C. Market system, communication system, technology system. Or D. None of the above. The answer is target system, change system, Change Agent System Question number 18 The individual involved to facilitate change in agricultural extension programs is called A. Extension Clientele B. Extension Agent C. Extension System or D. All of the above The answer is extension agent. Number 19. A type of service provided by the Philippine Agriculture Extension System is A. Information and Communication Support Service B. Civil Service C. Public Service or D. None of the above. The answer is Information and Communication Sports Service. Number 20. Agricultural modernization is characterized by A. Appropriate production practice B. Market and favorable environment C. Availability of inputs and agro support services or D all of the above the answer is all of the above number 21 the shift to participatory agricultural extension took place because of the failure of the linear top-down extension to recognize that A. Farmers group is very heterogeneous and they need different appropriate to in extension to satisfy varied needs B. Farmers knows best their needs and problem in farming C. Farmers are not passive receivers of technology or D, all of the above.
The answer is all of the above. Number 22. A participatory form of agricultural extension is A. Transfer of technology model B. Transfer of technology feedback model C. Farmer-backed farmer model or D. All of the above The answer is farmer back to farmer model. Number 23. Which of the following is not a problem of agricultural extension in the Philippines? A. Lack of national agenda and unifying framework. B. Inadequate support service. C. Poor institutional linkages. Or D. None of the above. The answer is none of the above. Number 24. The type of agriculture characterized as low cost, low input, resource conserving, environmentally sound and economically viable farming system is called A. Agricultural modernization B. Good agriculture C. Conventional agriculture or D, alternative agriculture. The answer is alternative agriculture. Number 25. It is a system of cultivation based on mutual understanding with society where farmers have an obligation to society as providers of safe and nutritious food products, stewards of soils, water, air, and natural landscape for the sake of future generation. A. Organic farming B. Sustainable agriculture Sustainable agriculture C. Farming for children or D, contour farming. The answer is sustainable agriculture. Number 26. Which among the following is not related to the practice of participatory extension? A. Social mobilization B. Community action planning C. Implementation and farmer experimentation or D. None of the above The answer is none of the above. Number 27. A systematic and continuous process of assessing the progress and changes caused by implementation of an activity over a period of time. A. Community analysis. B. Project planning. C. Monitoring. Or D. Data analysis. The answer is monitoring. Number 28. When end, end, when end users of information are involved in the process of assessing progress and chance, the activity is called A. Participatory extension B. Participatory planning C. Participatory monitoring or D. Participatory evaluation
The answer is participatory monitoring. Number 29. Information obtained in monitoring and evaluation of agricultural extension activities serve the following purposes. A. Field demonstration. B. Project management and planning. C. Field day. Or D. Marketing. The answer is project management and planning. Number 30. A management faction in agricultural extension could help prevent the occurrence of unanticipated negative impact. This is known as A. Coordination B. Recruitment C. Planning or D. Monitoring The answer is monitoring. Number 31. An activity in preparing for monitoring and evaluation wherein methodology and instrument are fine-tuned for appropriateness prior to actual implementation is called A. Data collection B. Data analysis C. Pre-testing or D. Development of Data Collection Instrument The answer is pre-testing Number 32 The extension teaching method that gives the change agent the maximum of information about his clients a office call b farm and home visit c method demonstration or d personal letter the answer is Farm and home visit. Number 33. The extension teaching method that indicates people recognition or acceptance of the change agent's technical ex expertise or that he has gained the confidence of his clients. A. Office or technical service calls. B. Results demonstration. C. Farm visit. Or D. Informal discussion. The answer is office or technical service calls. Number 34. The list of useful methods under rural Philippine condition. A. Office or technical service call. B. Result demonstration. C. Telephone call. Or D. Informal discussion. The answer is telephone call. Number 35. The method that reaches a larger number of people and allows for immediate interaction between the audience and the change agent. A. General meetings. B. Technical calls. C. Farm and home visits. Or D. Television. The answer is technical calls. Number 36. Reaches at one time a large number of people who are physically and socially isolated. A. 
farm and home visit B field day C radio or D movies The answer is radio. Number 37. Methods which acquires a certain level of literacy among the clients. A. Exhibits B. Technical calls C. Movies or D. Publication The answer is publications. Number 30. A method which allows the combination of the different teaching methods in one setting. A. Field days. B. Field tours. C. Result demonstrations. Or D. Method demonstrations. Answer is field days. Number 39. The most appropriate method to use in teaching the mothers how to preserve fruits. A. Result demonstrations. B. Method demonstrations. C. Televisions. Or D. Informal discussion. The answer is method demonstrations. Number 14. Requires a local leader or cooperator to work with A. Campaign B. Method demonstration C. Farm visit or D. Result demonstration Answer is campaign. Number 41. The most appropriate method to use to show to the community the superior qualities of high yielding varieties of rice over the traditional one. A. Result demonstrations. B. Method demonstrations. C. Farm visit or D campaign. The answer is result demonstrations. Number 42. An effective activity for wide execution after a recommended practice is found acceptable to the local people. A. Contest B. Meetings C. Models or D. Telephone Calls The answer is contests. Number 43. Eye catchers, which are useful in sharing information on new technologies. A posters, B graphs, C models, or D A and C. The answer is A and C. Number 44. 
the method which could turn to be a pleasure and not an educational activity if not careful planned and executed. A. Method demonstrations B. Result demonstrations C. Farm and home visit or D. Guided tour or educational trip The answer is guided tour or edu educational trip. Number 45. The method adapted to all subject matters. A. Method demonstration. B. Result demonstration. C. Farm and home visit. Or D. A and B. The answer is farm and home visit. Number 46. An organized or planned visit of farmers or house makers or youths to see the result of a new practice implemented in other areas. A. Field day. B. Result demonstration. C. Displays. Or D. Field tours. The answer is field tour. Number 47. The method that reflects a high level of interest in the part of the client which the change agent can make use of as a teaching learning situation. A. Office or technical service. B. Home visit. C. Displays. Or D. Informal discussions. The answer is office or technical service. Number 48. The method that may be combined A. Radio and result demonstration B. Home and visit and exhibit C. Movies and campaigns D. All of this The answer is all of this. Number 49. A message sent back to the source, invention intentionally or unintentionally by the receiver. Message or channel. A. Intervention. B. Feedback. C. Technology. And D. Response. The answer is response. Number 50. The choice of appropriate extension methods or techniques to use is primarily dependent upon the A. Nature of technology B. Resource required C. Objectives of the activity or D. Competence of the change agent is objective 
or objectives of the activity. Number 51. The most practical method or strategy to use for creating awareness among farmers about swine flu phenomenon. A. Radio B. Leaflets C. Meetings or D. Home Visits The answer is radio. Number 52. An extension strategy which may be conducted on a weekly basis to discuss about cooperative development. A. Informal discussion. B. Farmers or women's class. C. Meetings. Or D. Technical calls. The answer is farmers or women's class. Number 53. A message sent to the source intentionally or unintentionally by the receiver. Message or channel is called A. Intervention B. Feedback C. Technology or D. Response The answer is feedback. Number 54. Which do you think would be the best combination of methods in order to affect adoption of a new corn variety? Variety. A. Radio and farmers classes. B. Result demonstration and field day. C. Exhibit and farm visit. Or D. Result demonstration and farmers class. The answer is result demonstration and farmer's class. Number 55. In evaluating the usefulness of an audio-visual aid in extension, which among the following questions is least important? A. Is it easily perceived? B. Is it culturally appropriate to the intended audience? C. Is it memorable? Or D, is it colorful? The answer is, is it colorful? Number 56. If you were a change agent, which of the following would you choose to affect understanding of the life cycle of a steam borer? A. Pie chart B. Wall chart C. Poster or D. Bar graph The answer is wall chart. Number 57. In communication, feedback does not come from D, A, receiver, B, source, C, channel, or D, message. The answer is source. Number 58. In this approach, 
Field personnel tend to be recruited locally and remain in the project for a long period of time. A. Farming system development approach B. Educational institutional approach C. Cost sharing approach or D. Participatory approach The answer is cost sharing approach. Number 59. Extension undertaken by academic institutions. A. General extension approach. B. Educational institution approach. C. Participatory agricultural extension approach. Or D. Particular. The answer is Educational Institution Approach Number 16 Effective communication if A. They have similar education background B. They are of the same nationality C. They are of the same sex Or D. They have established a common field of experience The answer is, they have established a common field of experience. Number 61. Research results show the amount of information remembered using various teaching methods. Which among the following yields the highest? A. Lecture B. Lecture and visuals C. Seeing and doing or D. Visuals The answer is seeing and doing. Number 62. Indicators in evaluation usually derive from the A. Objectives B. Methodology C. Review of Literature or D. Other Reports The answer is objectives. Number 63. The type of evaluation conducted right after project completion is called A. Formative evaluation C. Summative evaluation C. Periodic evaluation or D. All of this. answer is summative evaluation. Number 64. One method of collecting data to study changes in landscape is A. Social maps B. Rankings C. Using forms or D. D. Transit The answer is transacts. Number 65. 
Institutional or Venn diagram is best used to illustrate A. Popularity of individuals B. Location of households in the barangay C. Work linkages among different agencies or D. None of the above The answer is work linkages among different agencies. Number 66. To illustrate the schedule of planting different crops over certain periods of the one year, one can gather use data using A. Calendars B. Ranking C. Photographs or D. Network Diagrams The answer is calendars. Number 67. Causal chain analysis of project impact could be established using A. Matrix scoring B. Critical event analysis C. Impact flow diagram or D. Social mapping The answer is Impact Flow Diagram. Number 68. Impact refers to A. Short-term outputs of products B. Medium-term results C. Long-term consequences or D. All of the above. The answer is all of the above. Number 69. Who benefits from feedback? A. The receiver B. The message C. The channel or D. The source The answer is the source. Number 70. Any contamination in the communication channel is A. Fidelity B. Homophily, homophily C. Noise or D. Static Sound Noise. Number 71. Who should possess good coding skills for an effective communication? A. The message, B. The channel, C. The receiver, or D. The source. The answer is the receiver. Number 72. Good decoding skills should be possessed by whom for an effective communication? A. The message, B. The, the channel, C. The receiver, or D. The source. The answer is the receiver. Number 73. Refers to the potential of a communication channel for covering an 
extensive geographic area with speed and timeliness. 8-channel multiplicative power. B-channel complementarity. C-channel feedback. Or D, channel permanence. The answer is channel multiplicative power. Number 74. Which among the following channels possess the dimension referred to in the preceding number? A radio, B newspaper, C telephone, D farmers meeting, or E two individuals, like extension worker and a farmer, will have more. answer is, two individuals like the extension worker and the farmer will have more. Number 75. Which of the following has the least effect on a change agent's predictability? A. Technical competence. B. Client orientation. C. Personal appearance. Or D. Dynamism. The answer is personal appearance. Number 76. When a change agent tries to put himself in the situation or reality of the farmer, he is exercising the principle of A. Sympathy B. Empathy C. Mimic pride or D. Homogeneity The answer is empathy. Number 77. A condition in which two individuals are similar in some attributes like sex, age, and culture, etc. A. Heterophily B. Homily C. Monotony Monotony or D. Homophony is homophony. Number 78. In extension, the first and foremost of a change agent is that for a A. Planner, B. Teacher, C. Linker, or D. Organizer. The answer is teacher. Number 79. As a community organizer, which of the following knowledge or skills a change agent needs at least the least? A. Technical knowledge of rice. B. Eliciting community participation. C. Value formation and community commitment. Or D. Community-based resource management. The answer is technical knowledge on rice. Number 80. In the extension delivery system, under what subsystem sub does the change agent generally belong? A. Agro support system. B. Extension organization or change system. C. Beneficiary system. Or D. Research system. The answer is extension organization or change system. Number 81. Which of the following does the rural people not expect to learn from extension? A. New scientific facts and harming. B. Develop research languages with service agencies. 
she always depend on the chain media to decide for them or d born to work with other people The answer is, always depend on the change agent to decide for them. Number 82. In social change theory, the process of communicating new ideas or practice into the social system over time is A. Communication B. Consequences Consequence C. Invention or D. Diffusion The answer is diffusion. Number 83. The category of social change which is caused by an outsider usually a representative of planned change introduces new ideas to achieve definite goals. A. Permanent change B. Eminent change C. Selective contract change or D. Directed contract change The answer is directed from top change. Number 84. An idea, practice, or object perceived as new by an individual or any unit of a social system. A. Invention B. Innovation C. Intervention or D. Variation The answer is innovation. Number 85. The mental process through which an individual passes from the time of awareness of an innovation to final adoption or rejection. A. Adoption process B. Adoption process C. Social change process or D. Infusion process The answer is adoption process. Number 86. When a farmer does not adopt a particular innovation because it is in conflict, conflict with his religious beliefs, the innovation is not acceptable in terms of its A. Complexity B. Related advantage, advantage C. Absurd validity or D. Compatibility The answer is compatibility. Number 87. A new variety of rice, the say RCX, has been readily adopted by the farmers because of its good eating quality and high yield. A. Complexity B. Relative Advantage C. Observability or D. Diversity The answer is relative advantage. Number 88. In Rogers' classification of adopters, the most respected ones are the A. Innovators, B. Early adopters, C. Early majority, or D. Deliberate. The answer is early adopters. Number 89. 
If you are a change agent designed in a particular community, with whom will you work first to more or less assure of wide adoption of an innovation? A. Innovators B. Early adopters C. Early majority or D. Late majority The answer is early adopters. Number 90. Which among the following needs to be convinced with individual strategies? A. Early adopters B. Innovators C. Laggards or D. Early majority The answer is log guards. Number 91. Which among the following strategies is not utilized in the training and visit approach? A. Frequent and regular in-service training field workers. B. Fixed and regular visit of extension workers to farmers group. C. Shared decision making by farmers group. The answer is shared decision making by farmers group. Number 92. Which among the following strategies is or are undertaken in the community specialized approach? A. Specialized extension approach. B. Recommended input made available and accessible. C. System approach. Or D. A and B. The answer is choices A and B. Number 93. In this approach, Farmers Association or Cooperative and other stakeholders in community influence and exercise greater control of extension priorities and activities. A. Farming System Development Approach B. Participatory Agricultural Extension or C. Project Approach The answer is Participatory Agricultural Extension. Number 94. An approach whereby extension services are concentrated in a particular location and usually there is an infusion of a large amount of external resources. A. Farming System Development Approach B. Educational Institution Approach C. Project Approach or D. Cost sharing approach.
The answer is Farming System Development Approach. Number 95. An approach to demonstrate what can be done in a short period of time. A. Farming System Development Approach B. Educational Institution Approach C. Project Approach or D. Cost Sharing Approach The answer is project approach. Number 96. A holistic approach in which the farmers participate actively in partnership with interdisciplinary team of researchers. A. Farming system development approach. B. Educational institution approach. C. Project approach. Or D. Cost sharing approach. The answer is Farming System Development Approach. Number 97. An extension approach with the assumption that extension field personnel are fully trained, not up to date, and supervision is inadequate. A. General Extension Approach. B. Commodity Specialized Approach. C. Training and Visit Approach. Or D. Project Approach. The answer is training and visit approach. Number 98. An approach which is commonly found in government ministry or department, specifically ministry or department of agriculture, implemented through a unit of the department by assigning field staff all over the country. A. General extension approach. B. Commodity specialized approach. C. Training and visit approach or D. Cost sharing approach. The answer is general extension approach. Number 99. An approach whereby all functions which are related to our particular crops protection are orchestrated under one administration to make it more effective. A. Training and visit. B. Participatory agricultural extension approach. C. Commodity specialized approach. Or D. Cost sharing approach. The answer is general extension approach. Number 100. Approach that focused on one craft, usually for export. A. Training and visit. B. Project approach. C. Commodity specialized approach. Or D. Cost sharing approach.
The answer is Commodity Specialized Approach. Number 101. An approach with the assumption that farmers have much wisdom about food production from their land and that their knowledge can be improved if through learning from outside sources. A. Cost sharing approach. B. Project approach. C. Participatory agricultural extension. Or D. Farming system development approach. The answer is participatory agricultural extension. Number 102. An approach with the assumptions that locals may not be able to sufficiently support their own development. Thus, outside sources should supplement or complement. A. Farming system development approach. B. Educational institutional approach. C. Cost-sharing approach. The answer is cost-sharing approach. Number 103. Which among the following is highly controlled by the central government? A. Educational Institution Approach B. Participatory Agricultural Extension Approach C. General Extension Approach or D. Farming System Development Approach The answer is General Extension Approach. Number 104. Which approach entails lower costs on the part of the government? A. Participatory Agricultural Extension Approach. B. General Extension Approach. C. Farming System Development Approach. Or D. Project Approach. The answer is Participatory Agricultural Extension Approach. Number 105. The Masagana 99 program was an example of what approach? A. Specialized Commodity Approach B. Project Approach C. Educational Institutional Approach or D. Participatory Agriculture Extension Approach The answer is Specialized Commodity Approach. Number 106. Which approach seems not feasible in a democratic country like the Philippines? A. General Extension Approach B. Farming System Development Approach C. Agriculture Extension of Participatory Approach or D. Training and Basic Approach
factor is training and visit approach. Number 107. Which of the following is the criteria applied in evaluating long-term objectives? A. Equity of impact. B. Sustainability. C. Effectiveness. Or D. All of this. The answer is all of this. Number 108. SMART is used a guide in writing project objectives. What does A stands for? A. Accessible B. Accountable C. Advisable or D. Attainable The answer is attainable. Number 109. SMART is used as guide in writing project objectives. What does M stands for? A. Memorable B. Measurable C. Manageable or D. All of the above The answer is Measurable. Number 110. Assessing the worth of value of something is called A. Coordination B. Evaluation C. Managing or D. Monitoring The answer is Evaluation. Number 111. The process of evaluation shows any of the following. A. Whether extension activities implemented had achieved its desired objectives. B. Objectives are clear. C. Understand project activities. Or D. None of the above. The answer is whether extension activities implemented had achieved its desired objectives. Number 112. What type of indicator in evaluation measure effects of activities in relation to objectives? A. Process indicators B. Impact indicators C. Evaluation indicators or D. All of the above The answer is all of the above. Number 113. Which of the following levels could impact the assesses? A. Output B. Input C. Outcomes D. All of the above The answer is all of the above. Number 140. Which of the following is not type of extension service? A. Farm or business advisory service. B. Training services. C. Demonstration projects. Or D. Rapid rural appraisal.
The answer is Rapid Rural Appraisal. Number 115. Under the AFMA, the goals of agricultural extension are A. Accelerate the transformation of agriculture and fisheries from a source base of technology-based industry B. Farm mechanization C. Family planning or D. None of the above The answer is, accelerate the transformation of agriculture and fisheries from a source based of technology-based industry. Number 116. Extension education is A. A. Conclusion-oriented science. B. Decision-oriented science. C. Both A and B. Or D. None of the above. The answer is Decision-Oriented Science. Number 117. Which of the following intervenes in a social progress to give deeper insight in the way society functions by observing how change process occurs? A. Physical Science B. Natural Science C. Decision-Oriented Science or D. All of the above The answer is decision-oriented science. Number 118. Extension financial support at the LGU comes from the A. Donor institution B. State college and universities C. Share in the IRA or D. All of the above. The answer is share in the IRA. Question 119. IRA is an acronym to A. Internal Resources Allotment B. Internal Revenue Allotment C. Internal Revenue Allowance or D. Internal Revenue Allowance The answer is Internal Revenue Allotment. Great job! So, how ready are you now? Thank you for watching!